Like, you know most of our parents are on weed now, right? But what about a chubby 16-year-old Hank Foley getting grounded for two weeks for a nickel bag of stems and seeds? What about that? <laughs> huh? All of a sudden it's cool because you got rheumatoid arthritis? Is that the game we're playing here? Like, I have ants that have never touched drugs in their lives, and now they're popping gummy bears left and right. And they're like, oh, it's just a little CBD. Then I look at the bottle, I'm like, that's fentanyl. What are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they grow up to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. She's upstairs on the roof. Okay. Set up the pigeon coop. <laughs> All right. Start flipping pigeons. <laughs> I respect it. Let, let you know I'm, in the bl I'm on the block. <laughs> Let us know the ops are on the way. You know what I'm saying? My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of RU Garbage. He's an international businessman. Mm -hmm. He's my best pal in the whole wide world, but I would not hesitate to turn state's evidence <laughs> and get in the witness protection program. You're going to need it, big fella. Spot your ass from 100 miles away. Give it up for KJ. Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on please. iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to row. Smoking hot. Hooking, baby. Yeah. And uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention one of my... I know, my personally favorite websites. Wikipedia? Uh, no. Uh, Patreon.com slash are you garbage, gang. Go over there. You get up to two bajillion hours worth of content. That's marketing terms. <laughs> Here, it's a bit of a bit of a party over there. It is the uh, five bucks a cup. Five bucks a cup. Yeah, that's pretty good. Five, five bucks, bucks a, a cup. cup, or ten if you want to go in a bathroom and party. You know <laughs> what I mean? A lot of chicks over there. <laughs> it's popping after eleven. Come by. <laughs> uh, you sign up over there. You get bonus episodes every week of AYG. We do hard feelings every week, yes, which we is do. a whole nother show. Uh, it's a good time. And then, I mean, hours upon hours of other videos that we shot, vlogs, Glad stuff from the stuff. road, behind the scenes. Down the shore, uh, the your Disney Foley's, World, Disney Foley's first limo ride, the whole nine Woo yards. We feel like the prettiest girl in school on that. <laughs> and do yourself a favor. What's Get over that? there to rugarbage.com. Oh, I've heard of that. Got the through the roof tour Ooh, cooking. Through the roof. Adding shows. Adding shows. Shows selling out. Ooh. It's a good time. Get them tickies, gang. Let's hang. First leg is up. Please check it out. Come out and see the boys. Mm -hmm. And how about a nice quick shout out? To our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the D's and he dots the I's. Give it up for my number two, my my, my, my other best pal in the whole wide world, T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What up, boys? That big old sauce each on. What up, T-Bones? I don't. <laughs> hey, uh, open speak, for, we're open for business. Speaking of witnesses, you know what's something you could never do? What's that, Toby? You could never be one of those guys on... A 4 4 40? <laughs> Sure. I'll prove you wrong on that. I think I got a 4 8 in college. Is that possible? 4 4 40. That's four orders of onion rings, four <laughs> orders of french fries. In, in under 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, the 4 4 4 deal? No, no, no. Uh, you could never be one of those witnesses on 60 minutes that's all black in the silhouette. You got you're too you're too uh, recognizable. I would never do that. It's I never great. understood that. You know who it is. If they know you, they know you, man. Especially if you're if you're if you're leaking about like there was three guys there and the other two are in jail. You're like, so I was here when Jimmy shot Tony. They're like, hey, Fat Sal, they know it's you. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's so you. you're sure they won't know it's me, Jimmy uh, Baklava. Uh, <laughs> never, man. I never, never understood that too. Where like I the, the cartel does it sometimes. They're like behind the scenes with the cartel and it's like some you know journalist embedded with them and they're sitting there and I'm like. What are you doing? You're nuts. <laughs> yeah, dude. Showing street signs and shit. Just trying to stay anonymous, saying shit like, I was his neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just saying undercover boss, dude. You'll get got. Which, dude, undercover when boss. When the chainsaw comes is, out. Have you seen that recently? I'm a, I'm a fan for trashy TV. I get uh, undercover sure. boss when I first hit was crazy. But now, dude, they show up. I mean, the fake wigs. The mo I'm like... If, and they're always like, hey, this is Jimmy. He's trying to switch. They always come up with like a documentary yeah. 
to throw him off the and set. And it's like a middle-aged guy. Yeah, and he's like, oh, he's tra- it's usually like he's transitioning. Like a Krispy Kreme. He's transitioning into like no, a new career or something. And I'm like, dude, if this guy with fake glasses, a fake nose, a bad wig, and a weird outfit came in, I'd be like, I ain't working with him. You no, know I, mean? I, w- I would. I- <laughs> you got Mrs. Doubtfire running the forklift. Yeah. <laughs> I w- it's not even as good as Mrs. Doubt. Mrs. Doubtfire was a classic broad. You would think you would know. if you, Like, at this point, you're aware of the show. Yeah, sometimes it's like a 23-year-old kid, like, fucking side-eyeing him. Be like, buddy, your nose is melting over the deep fryer. I'd be kissing his ass. What do you mean? I'd be, I'd be Johnny on the spot. Well, they always, yeah, they always get in their sob story of like, then my mom got shot in the head, oh, and my yeah, sister. I'd be, I'd be making shit up on <laughs> yeah. the spot. And then at the end, they're like, and then sometimes the gifts. So if you haven't seen the program, the under the CEO of a big company goes in, works <laughs> all the different positions. They've then, seen it. I'm just letting them know it's what the, the bozos fuck? and the homies. They know what's up. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't think everybody's got cable. If I'm being honest <laughs> with you. Um, and then they, they tell him a sob story and then at the end they give him a big gift of like, Hey, you know, like a million dollars. Or something dude, I've like seen that. some being like, we give you $1,500 in gift cards to the restaurant. You're like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, they're taking my house. I don't need, need mo- surgery. <laughs> I don't need more mozzarella sticks. Make, make with the cheddar. <laughs> daddy. stealing them for the last two years. <laughs> I know. I eat here for free already. You Kick bozo. rocks. Yeah. You mentioned four, 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 which got the, got the engine turning. Um, might have mentioned this to you. Not really sure. Was talking about it with somebody not that long ago. Brought up a little uh, American institution that runs by the name of Denny's. Okay. And let me tell you something. Go to in college for the sampler. They did the onion rings, the chicken fingers, the wings, the mozzarella sticks. Man, they really... I don't know if I've ever... Denny's maybe... One, two, or three times in my life, because to me that was just a diner, and we always had local. Shout out to the su- suburban diner on Street Road, or Let the Great American something. Diner. I don't know what I don't know how they're banging these days, but you used to find one in a small town in the suburbs. They were run like Michelin star restaurants. They were unbelievable. Sure, I get it. Yeah, Woo! we just never we would never go to that. It was just like the national. Why go to the national chain when you got the real feel? You know, it's where I mean? my love affair of honey mustard started. <laughs> It's the first really and last was. time I ever dined in Dash was at a Denny's. Really? What? I was in high school. It you was like scumbag. No, I respect that he did it to a national corporation rather than some, you know. Oh, the hardworking people? What if undercover boss was in there that day? <laughs> he comes Somebody in, had to pay for that. He comes out chasing them down the block. <laughs> Literally exactly what happened. No what? shit. Yep. We were we were there. It was a bunch of skeevy stoners. Mm-hmm. The, the Did you go one way and your parents went the other way? How did you guys <laughs> how did you break that? <laughs> All right, on the count of three, scatter! Everybody lamb it! <laughs> Literally. It's the cheese! Not far off, dude. What? We were sitting there, a bunch of skeevy stoners really went to town. Chocolate milk's all around for the oh, fellas. Oh, man. <laughs> man, I can feel the dry mouth at that table. Ugh. Just. I'd see a table you guys walk in. I'd want to kill myself. The Hey, take it easy, big guy. <laughs> Jesus. We're going to double. It's a family program. Here. The getaway driver stood up, stood <laughs> up from the drive. bus, yeah. stood, up from, <laughs> stood up from the table, knocked a full glass of chocolate milk on the floor as he was getting up. Just so bad. We we all get up. We're making our move to go. Servers in the back, whatever. Empty Denny's. We walk as we get outside the door. There is a gauntlet of the most grizzled, old Denny's waitresses you have ever seen sitting on the sidewalk smoking cigs I've been, eyeballing I've us. been waiting for this oh, day looking <laughs> for trouble the, oh yeah the girl puts it out on her arm just <laughs> fucking cracks her neck and is like let's go let's dance pretty wait, boys wait 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 Give him a five second head start. <laughs> let's make it. A, let's make it a challenge, dude. For real, we got her out. We had parked in the back, backed in, and did get... you go in with this plan? Yes. Oh, wow. that's crazy. Why? Because we were all broke and you were hungry. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Where, where were you living? Were you at home? This was in St. Pete, Florida. Wow. Let's yeah. just go to your parents' house, get a sandwich or something. Because I was on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't have chocolate milk. I want to feel alive. <laughs> so we got it, we got around the corner of the building, and we just hear this one waitress go, Ay! And we all <laughs> took... <laughs> Man, a, a St. Pete Denny's waitress chasing you out of the door. God, I'd rather... I'd Man. rather... Man. 
I'd rather the Terminator. I can see like me. two of them on a on a jet bike in the canal. <laughs> One jumps off on you. Uh, I get toward the corner by the getaway driver smoking a heater by the by the car, and we're screaming, "Get in!" We all. I picture her tactically cutting the angle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like trailing up to get to intersect them. Like at an some outside point. linebacker. Yeah, fucking spying them. Like I got her fucking coming across. So we we dive into this into this car, peel out. We're dipping out of the parking lot as the manager, red tie a flapping, is running Terminator style at the side of the car. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, what have I done? There's like seven waitresses. Jeez. Long story short, though, the kid who was driving was the only 17 year old in the county with this kind of car. Oh, they yeah. Caught him instantly. <laughs> a pink Celica. Yeah. <laughs> the system. You guys a- got busted. He did. No really? shit. Really? I'm really leaning on the statute of limitations did on he, this one. <laughs> did he rat on you? Nah. Huh. His mo- mom footed the bill. But next time we're down there, we got to go to that. Go to that Denny's hole, have a nice meal. No. What? No. Why not? Oh, I never go back to the scene of the crime. <laughs> then they're going to think I'm in on it. I was, I'll get pegged as the mastermind of this thing 20 years later. I've been looking later. for you for 20 yeah. years. It's the chocolate milk Ponzi scheme, and I'm going to be I'm gonna Where's be your bill. buddies at? Ah, yeah. oh, man, T-Bone. Hey, man, shit happens. I, uh, we all got to pass. Only time you ever did it. Yeah. Felt bad afterwards. Horrible. Lesson learned. Indeed. Worst thing you can do. Well, that and stab a guy. Uh, <laughs> that's not bad. You got it coming. You got it coming. I, uh, two of my two of my dirtbag buddies, uh, who shall remain nameless, had, were frequenting a bar, a local, a local establishment here in New York City. Um, and they were hanging out there, kind of dating the waitress, the bartenders, and they were like, you know, it was very every, it was like a hang for them. Sure. So they were in there. Two, two, my two buddies went in there, and uh, you know, I think they'd ran up a bit of a bar tab and kind of, you know, as one does. And you know, I don't think it was intentional, but like blacked out and left and didn't settle up the tab. But they were like dating the the you know whatever. So someone covered it because they were like, oh, they'll be back tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Or like, yeah, you know, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll jump on the tab. And he left without paying it. And then they kind of just like iced like what some dude paid for it, like like the, the bar manager or something. And then they just iced them. It was like one hundred and seventy bucks or something. They just fucking they were like, I'm never answering that call. I'm never seeing this girl. Just we're just never going to walk down that street again. Had a kid with her. Dude, two years later. I'm like, let's just fucking go in. Everything else was closed or packed. I'm like, let's just fucking pop in. There's no way they remember you guys. Dude, I, t- <laughs> we walked in. We made it three feet in. The guy, goes, <laughs> the guy goes, get the fuck out of here. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> no, I can't go back. <laughs> Killed by association. Uh, one thing I'll say about you when we first met. Me? Yes, oh, up like until this. now. What? <laughs> um, is I've never met anybody that was so careless with opening a tab <laughs> and forgetting to close it and leaving his debit card, which you had one card. And I know there was no money on it, but like the other night we were we were Brooklyn Comedy Club doing doing some spots. Shout out shout out the old man hustle over uh-huh, there. I love it there. And um I, I was gonna I was having a few pops. Normally I do I do cash. Boom, here sure. you go. But I, I you know I put my card down and I I, ju- I jumped in the in the Uber to go home. My ah my God I forget panic. Forgot my card. Told the guy to pull over, ran in and waited. This guy, like a book of matches. He's left credit cards at bars all over. Rem- all over North America. Dude. Re- literally I had, remembered and then been like, ah, get it in a couple of days. Yeah, there's two still in Vegas from that's gang fest, from the last gang fest we went to. Crazy. That I was just like, dude, the one was like three blocks away. And I'm like, I ain't walking. It's too there's, hot. There's certain things that you let roll off your back. And, and you're a crazy guy. <laughs> and you Some have, might say high strung. High <laughs> strung. <laughs> anxiety. Just riddled with it. <laughs> like the little E on a guitar. <laughs> and like, <laughs> like, you'll lose your wallet somewhere. We'll be in like Indiana. And you're like, ah, I can't find my wallet. All right, whatever. You guys ready? I mean, I'd be calling the FBI. Yeah, I don't care. About I that check, shit. I, I reach and grab my back pocket probably 10 times a day to make sure I have my wallet. You just, like, like you're Paris Hilton. I know, but like you still think you're yeah, not going to Perez gonna... Hilton, maybe. <laughs> Why? Shout out to both. <laughs> uh, you think you're not going to get the money back? Like worst case scenario is I leave my credit card at a place, they close it and add the twenty percent gratuity, which I was. I, I'm getting off cheap. I was probably going to tip them more. <laughs> These dumb bastards could have juiced me for forty percent. But you would do that when, you, like, you had for most of the time that we were in New York together, you just had your debit card. 
Yeah, I only got a credit card during this show. So what would you do for the next couple of days for money? Well, I, I was a TD Bank guy. You could just walk in and they print you a credit card. They print you a new debit card right away. Like license plate. Yeah, prison. So, so it was like. I, That's crazy. I was just like, all right, as long as I have some cash. I remember there would be times where like I forgot my credit card and I was like, all right, I just I would hit up you or my roommate and be like, yo, let me borrow 20 bucks. I have to go on my lunch like, so I can get to work. I got to borrow, you know, I got to on my lunch break. I, and I used to work right next to a TD Bank. So I'd pop in there and just be like, yeah, I need a new card. Sit down. Beep, boop, boop, boop. They fucking hand it right to you. You're back in biz. I knew you owed me a 20. <laughs> You're in the pocket for a couple of things. I let slide. What? I don't know. You got nothing. I got a couple of things. Some sunglasses. You're on, you're on the... Fu- no. You're on... Um, you're in the red if we're sitting here. With you? Yeah. Yeah, right. How am I in the red with you? Heaters? Heaters. The heaters That's, dude, heaters this week. That's it's, wartime, dude. No, this isn't wartime. You show up to the studio without heaters, and then I'll have, like, six. And what you start to do, like a real snake, but I respect the garbage move, you'll go over and when I'm, you know I'm low on, he knows how many, I go, you want to go out and have a cigarette? He goes, you only have one left. So he's <laughs> keeping inventory on my heaters. And what he does, like a real dirtbag, he knows, because we, we're on the same heater schedule. Like, oh, you know, we'll, we'll pop out, we'll do one after we eat or whatever. So he'll go over, he'll take, he'll get his own out in his hand and then go, you want to go get one. You want to go have one. So then I'm smoking my last thing. He's already, he, he like the Federal Reserve with these goddamn things. Man, you're half right. I'm way ahead of you. First of all, I have an empty pack where I stash a couple when you're not looking. You're such a dirt. Just buy a pack of cigarettes. There's no fun in that. There's no fun in me not having heaters either. What happened to Honor Among Thieves? Yeah, there's none. And there's also. And you're mad at him for running out on a Denny's. You're stealing from your best pal. <laughs> it's different psychologically. You owe me two hundred bucks in heaters. I also have several. Cash. There, I there are several loose heaters scattered around hoodies, in case of a jam up. So if I die, make sure you check the walls. A little, little inheritance for you boys. <laughs> have a smoke on Uncle Hank. Like <laughs> Janice Soprano down there with the metal detector. Yeah, you're uh, you've been right, and you're typically not that guy. You're typically flush with heaters. I'm not that guy, pal. No, you're not that guy, pal. You're typically flush with smokes, but I don't know what's going on. Trying as to a, get away from them, man. Away from the heaters. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you're not, not away cherry from picking them. yours. You got you're, not, you're not cherry picking. You're coming in and smoking. They got the hooks in you. Just as much as me. But I will say this. Um. Never dined in Dash. Very disappointed in you, to be honest with you. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. What yeah. an all-time deflection yeah. you just tried to pull off. Thank you. Like we weren't going to notice you goddamn senator talking about the undercover boss. <laughs> <laughs> I look over here in a mustache. <laughs> Kip, let's talk about Pretty Litter. Shout out to PL. I'm not just a spokesman. He also poops in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a client because my little baby uses pretty litter all the time. I know. We love it. Yeah. Man, when the bird found out that we got a pretty litter, she's like, ship it. That's hoity-toity and stuff. They, they, did, they just re-upped us. I got it at the house, man. The cat loves it. She loves it. Plus, it gives you an alert if there's anything going on in the old urinary tract. Yep. You get to see what's Kidney what. stuff, the whole nine yards. Listen, if you love your pet as much as I love my pet, do yourself a favor. Get over to Pretty Litter. Step it up, baby. Yeah, uh, Pretty Litter has crystals in it. The, the science man is that there's a crystals in it and whatever the mixture is, uh, the change color, if there's something in your cat's pee-pee, uh, some potential illness so you can That's get ahead of it. That's how we found out. We had to take her to the vet. Yeah. I know. It's like, so it's like, and there's a thing. If it's yellow, if it's red, if it's blue, whatever, it changes colors. You go, oh, shit, I got to jump on this. And then, you know, anybody with a pet, dog, cat, parakeet, whatever, when they start getting, you you start closely monitoring that stuff. Like, oh, they didn't eat this. They were a little weird on that. So this gives you the this gives you the red flag right away. So you grab them, scoop them, take them to the vet. Yeah, now she's on special water and special urinary tract food. Hey, me too. Uh, <laughs> we count on Pretty Litter to keep our houses smelling fresh and clean. You can too. Go to prettylitter.com slash garbage to save 20% on your first order. That's prettylitter.com slash garbage to save 20% on your first order. Prettylitter.com slash garbage. Terms and conditions apply. See the website for details. Let's go. Kip, this is Sheath. I like Sheath. You love Sheath. An OG in the podcast game. Yeah. Been with us since Jump Street. First guys to take a flyer on two young guys out on their own. Shout out to Sheath, baby. Gang, if you want the most comfortable underwear you have ever 
put on. Yeah. Do yourself a favor. Get over to Sheath and scoop a pair up. You like separating your nuts from your wiener? Mm -hmm. Sure. We if all you, do. If you can, They medically. invented it. The technology. Uh-huh. It's, listen, ladies out there or guys out there, whoever, you know, if you got a guy in your life, a buddy who you want to, and you got a, you got a couple bucks, He's, you know, they're, they're, you're, you're, we're talking high quality shit here. He's so it's a hog on them. But, and you want to, you want to really fucking change how someone sees underwear. I, like, I did it for my cousin. I was talking about it. He's like, do they really, this was two years ago. Do they, do they really work? I go, buddy, I can't, I'm not going to be able to sell you on it. I logged in. I, I literally went to, she promo code garbage. You know what I mean? You got to wet my beak on the back end. Sure. I sent him like three pairs, dude. I get a text the next the, the next week, dude. These have changed the game. I can't go back. They're That's comfy, how good they man. Are. They're cozy. So go to sheathunderwear.com. Use the code garbage. You get twenty percent off your first order plus sheath underwear, one hundred percent money back guarantee. There you go. That sheathunderwear.com promo code garbage. Go to sheath underwear. Support your support the show. Support your balls. We love yous. I've been dining and dashed on. Now who's got to cover that? Not I the chased server. the I chased the kid down. It but was like, St. Patrick's Day. It was at the Waterfront you, Alehouse. You've, like yeah, you, second. you've told us, but who's got to cover that? Not the waiter. Yeah, but what's their? That's not their problem. If you're yeah, getting, it is. You let them go. I, no, uh, no, 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 no. Every restaurant I've ever worked at, you, the the company paid for it. The, it wasn't on. It, you weren't left holding the bag. If that's the manager crazy. was cool. I, will get, I don't know. We'll I feel get, like it. We'll so get it's, it this it's, time. It's illegal for them to charge. Yeah, the Yeah, that's server. like someone coming in with a gun and being Bring like a law into this. <laughs> Listen, there ain't no law on brunch shift. <clears throat> I'd like to cite Miller versus Carl's Jr. <laughs> from 1988. <laughs> Danny Miller <laughs> working a brunch shift. Table walked out. Damn, well, you're, I guess you're both right. right. right? Both. In some cases, it says, mm -hmm. state and federal law may require, <laughs> yeah, this, this, is, this goes deeper than I thought. Federal law. State and federal law may require servers to pay the bill when a dine and dash incident takes place. <laughs> the only exception would be if the bill's total causes the employee's wage to drop below their state minimum wage. That's Ooh. fucked up. If you're running a business out there, I understand times are tough, but you're going to take 120 bucks from this fucking server? Buddy, they charge you. Most of the places I've worked at, they charge you for the credit card processing fees. That comes that comes out of my end. This is my deal, Jerry. My deal, Jerry. Well, that's not. That's If anything, you should it should just be you should have to pay the cost. You shouldn't have to pay the street value. What, you're paying wholesale? You got to go back and figure all that out? You should. You're counting chicken fingers in a Cisco box in the back? <laughs> <laughs> I was a young, impressionable know, kid. Course, it wasn't of, my idea. Of the only thing we ever came close to doing that was we go to Ponderosa. We'd pay for one plate and everybody would eat. You never went to like a hot bar and fix something up and maybe, hey, I don't dip over to the seat in there. I'd nibble. But I don't even really do that in the grocery store. I'll check a grape. A hot bar nibble is still stealing, Hank. A hot bar nibble every uh, once in a while. I don't HBN. No way. Not going to do it. Uh, a little sesame chicken and some mac and cheese. I have a combo. I have a weird, real weird thing with stealing. I, not, and I, not that that's stealing, but it's like the you same. You got a real weird thing with everything, don't you? You ain't lying. <laughs> but yeah, no, apparently that's fucked up. Messed that, up, man. Even though it was such clause in most states, employment, since in most states, employment is at will, the employee can be fired if they do not do as told. Do as told. Like, they have to pay it, and if they don't, they can be fired. Yeah. That's insane. What the fuck are we doing? This is goddamn America. Yeah, and this waitress was going to Eckerd College. She didn't have a future anyway. I didn't ruin anything. What, you talk to her? Uh, yeah. Oh, man, you got to know her first, huh? I mean, I... Sick little twist, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> like to watch the light go out in their eyes, huh? You dirtbag. Yikes. You were chatting her up. After all that, I was, yeah, and about 30 seconds into talking to her, I was like, what are you doing? You're going to blow the whole thing. Also, now I don't know what's, <laughs> now I don't know what's going on. Most states in the U.S., if not all, have laws against making employees pay for business losses. Ah, yeah, it's a right, that's a goddamn right. That's what I'm saying, that's what it should be. If you're making these fucking, these hardworking, you know, waiters and waitresses pay that, that's fucking insane to me. I feel, restaurants in general, man, they give too, I mean... The whole system, it's like everybody's eating for free usually or the staff meal or whatever. It's, there's a lot of, what do they call that, leakage? Yeah. Spillage? Leakage. No, not leakage. Maybe he's a leakage. Dump over? I don't know. I'm about to take a dump over. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. 
In the amount of times that you worked in restaurants, buddy, oh, how? Yeah, you're oh, come buddy. on, again, come on, again, buddy. you're in the red it's, in product. It, yeah, dude, never, never touched a dollar. Would never do that. But I'll tell you what, in terms of restaurant thievery, I mean, you're way ahead of me, dude. Yeah, I'm, wow, that's true. He's uh, he's he's over a couple of fucking chocolate milks. <laughs> food wise, <laughs> food wise, which is yes, all I check too. But that's hard cash you're taking from that guy. That guy's got to replace. His that. Bottom line. Yeah. I remember I was working at a restaurant. Man, I, you I, sandbagging son of a bitch. <laughs> you stand here on your fucking soapbox yelling at this fucking high teenager for stealing some malts. I was doing then, this at 40. Dude, yeah. I was hungry. <laughs> I was a starving artist in the West you were Village. Three, you were 388 pounds. Dude, I man, did. Man, you are. you are a different kind of crazy, my friend. I, I did that all the Thank time, you, man. Thank you, Toby. I'm I, over here Googling law and fucking agreeing with you. Meanwhile, you're you got up, the chicken tinder bandit right in yeah. front of you. <laughs> we lying, sitting with the, the tiramisu kid. Hey, they didn't want these nachos. The double ring up. I would. Uh, no, I'd never do double ring up. Usually what you do is, you know, you, you make nice with the kitchen guys and they and they, they hook you up with whatever you with whatever you want. But, yeah, since I was since a young age, it's got to be. 180 grand. Yeah. Easily. It started at uh, it started when I was a kid at my first a restaurant month. <laughs> job. They made homemade cannolis in the back and I, I would eat it out of a spoon in the in the in the out of the ricotta cheese thing. They were so good. But I love it for the cannoli started. I yeah. Uh, Twist it. Dude, yeah, I, I I would literally work at a restaurant job, get fired, <laughs> lose weight, and then I would get a new one. And, and when blow you get back when, up. when you get a new restaurant, man, it's like it's like having a new girlfriend. Everything's new. The flavor profiles are new. And, dude, I worked at this one place, and they made everything homemade. Their Cheesecake blue, Factory? Their they blue, make everything in-house, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to I them. I can't just got to shut up about the Cheesecake Factory. It's great. Why don't we open one? They franchise? What's the deal? I don't think so. Toby. The cheese? Yeah. No, they handle it in-house at the cheese. Big money. Quality control. They're, yeah, they're not making everything in house and franchise and letting some fucking bozo take charge. That's a that's an operation. They probably cucumber they probably, cheesecake, <laughs> Kramer, <laughs> called PB and J's. I and I would literally. I remember one time I, I was working at this place and the owner. The food was so good, and like after like a couple of months. I put on serious weight. Sure. And he came in one day. He's like, <laughs> "What's your fat ass doing?" He's like, I, "He's like, listen, slow it down." I, you, that, you know, it's family operation. You got a handful of meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> what? How dare you? You're eating it like an apple. What Sir, mean? state and federal law says you can't. <laughs> it was Man. a dining day. I would just eat all the time. But uh, no, actually, to be honest with you, a lot of the times it was, it was, it was what we call in the industry scarfing. It was left over from the table. Ugh. I got real bad with that for a while. I would, I would literally most of my time spent on the floor. Was just going around clocking. Is she finishing that? Did they cut the burger in half? Is it a good looking girl? Good looking dude? That's Hank. We call I, him the vacuum. Yeah, dude. That's 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 Hank the Hoover. So <laughs> bad for you. Literally just in the middle of a shift taking and like a half of like a gastro pub hamburger, like a thick John, and just uh, swooshing it down my mouth. <laughs> you walk up to for the, the thrill. <laughs> just just because it was that, I wasn't even hungry. You walk up to the table, take a sip of their diet coke. <laughs> Not with that, <laughs> like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. So it was usually mostly that it was waste anyway. When you really think about it, I was recycling. You know. And we're back in the spin zone. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm doing you a favor. Yeah, uh, God. That's oh, yeah. Good. But all that's neither here nor there, folks. We got a gosh darn family episode family on Family episode. Hand. Just the boys, the bozos, and the homies. Just the way we like it. Yeah, when you join the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. We get a lot of submissions, but Patreon gets the first crack at it because they're the homies. Mm -hmm. and get over there. Sign up. We're, we're not selling you. I'm telling you, it's a good time. Listen, the homies. It's a good squad over there. Good community. The homies speak for themselves. There's well over 13,000 homies, so check it out. They, the, the men lie... Foley lies, numbers don't lie. You know what I mean? It's a good freaking time. Uh, it's from cocktail. We'll keep their mouth shut. <laughs> Can't tell anybody. Uh, <laughs> Dead wings tell no tales. This one's just funny. This is from Scott B. Are you garbage if you ride roller coasters on YouTube? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ah, 
<laughs> just watch it roll. Yeah, yeah, because I'm assuming he's just a guy with a camera in the front row, and you're just riding the roller coaster, dude. That's all right. That's all right. I gotta give you that. Yeah, I like it. Have you ever seen the video of the hamster in the stationary hamster wheel? They put a laptop with the roller coaster video in front of it, uh-uh. and it like sees it and just starts taking off. <laughs> just freaks out. It. Really? Yeah, it blows its mind. That would be a cool thing for the VR for the for the Oculus. It's a big part of it. Is it really? Yeah, full 360 ride a roller coaster type joints. I, uh, I would get freaked. I would feel that that little that little the butterflies in my stomach. I would feel that because I feel that even when I watch them. If I watch like on you know like a travel show or, or YouTube or something like that, scares scares the hell out of me. Well, now the NBA has a has a VR camera at all the games, so you sit and it's like you're sitting courtside. Really watching. Wow, that is smart thinking right there. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's not bad. UFC's doing it. Everybody's getting in the game. You get punched baby. in the head. Get, just... get an arm bar. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your couch getting the shit kicked out of you. <laughs> Take off the glass. You got a bloody nose and a black eye. Cut me. I tapped an hour ago. <laughs> Give it up. I'm outmatched. That's awesome. <laughs> At VR, I tell you, every day I get closer and closer. You guys just might not see me. I just might be just jacked into the wall. You're just in a virtual restaurant eating other people's food. <laughs> HDMI cable right in my neck. <laughs> Uh, in. Great question. Man. Uh, yeah, let's see here. This one's from Michael, ten dollar homie, Reading, PA. How you there you go. Uh, are you garbage if you destroy large objects and throw them away over a period of time to avoid calling a junk junk company to pick pick to come take them? No. I'm on week four of throwing away pieces of an old eighty inch TV. This guy's playing the Shawshank route, <laughs> shaking it out in the yard. Jeez, dude. I mean, okay, yeah, I respect it. It would have took a natural disaster for my mother to ever pay extra for the trash to call the junk uh, guy. No. Well, yeah, we were also uh, I've, I've said this before. We were a big dumpster fan. We had dumpsters or access to dumpsters at my dad's office or one of the job sites or whatever. So all of our home trash or boxes or couches were go- were getting thrown in a dumpster somewhere. And it's well documented on this program that anytime anybody had anything done and there was a dumpster in somebody's driveway, that got used oh. to the brim. Yeah. You got the dumpster, throw it out, bring it over and throw it out. Mm-hmm. Well, that's yeah. the good part. That's the best part about living in a city. You just put it on the sidewalk and the city eats it. I know. That's another thing about New York. They were like, we're trying to cut down on the rat problems. Everybody's got to use trash cans. I'm like, well, why the fuck haven't we been using trash cans for 20 years? You just throw your trash in the street with no. Tr- I thought That's you meant crazy. The, the dump. The are they called dumpsters? What are the things that they drop off in the thing when you're doing construction? A dumpster. They're dumpsters. They're yeah. trailers. They're uh, called dumpsters. They. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but I th- think it's a dumpster. The, the big, the big square ones that look like a like the end of a tractor trailer. Are they closed? No, no, no. That's they're, they're like in front of a construction site. Yeah. Not a dumpster like behind like a Denny's, but like a. Uh, Ah, it's another word for it. It's not a like a sea box. Mm, yeah, but not a sea box. It's, there's another uh, word. Are for you it. using it for storage or throwing stuff out? For throwing stuff out, like when the dumpsters in front of the in front of the construction site, and you just throw it over. Man, all that scarf yeah, is catching dumpster. up with the A-pop is there a, Yeah, is there a top on on it? <laughs> no, no top. Yeah, it's a dumpster. Is it a dumpster? That's yeah. that's the term for it. Dumpster. I thought what? It was trailer or something like that. Uh, I th- I throw stuff in there all the time. Just get a little sky hook in there. Well, in New York, they put the nets over them so yeah. you can't, or they're like behind the wooden walls. And well, you shit. know what? That's their well, problem. Yeah, that's, until Steph, that's until Steph Curry changed the game. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very, uh, it's like a code of honor from construction. Yeah, day? it's yeah. like you don't you don't jam another guy up because there were so many jobs that you show up and there'd be like fucking some guy's living room sets in there, <laughs> and I got to fucking pull concrete <laughs> slab and throw it in there. I got nowhere to go. Yeah, dude. Or like now you got to lift this shit up over the fucking his couch. So then you're in there rearranging other people's trash. Man, I've spent hours in some of those things, cleaning them out. And oh, yeah. Grabbing sheetrock with your hands. Uh-huh. Gives me the willies. Dude, I remember one time we had to move, we had to move a bunch of fucking uh, concrete blocks. Like you cut up a, the floor of like a whatever, like a, you know, would be a supermarket and you'd pull the blocks so they were like i don't know 150 pounds and you'd put one or two in a wheelbarrow and dude, they were so heavy and you had we just had like a little two by four ramp it wasn't like built it was just like a two by four yeah onto the thin man and you'd have to a get death a death sentence dude you'd have to get a running start <laughs> and dude hope you're evil can evil on this Woo! fucking balance beam and so many times I would slip, oh, dude. Man. I'd go over fucking flip into the dumpster, man, like a bozo. Brutal. 
Uh, all right, this one's from Cletus Van Dam. Is it garbage <laughs> if instead of smoking heaters outside, you paint your walls light yellow so you can't see the smoke stains? Ooh. Hey, if you're choosing to live in it, I respect it. That's <clears throat> that's more chestnut checkers to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're going to live in it anyway, might as well look better. Heaters inside comes with flat soda in the fridge. Mm. <sighs> Man. Yeah, it does. It seeps into every aspect of your lifestyle. And a remote that kind of works sometimes. You got to bang it. You gotta it's take got a, a rubber band or scotch tape on it for sure. You got to take the batteries out and put them back in. Uh, that dude's illegally streaming football games. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I got the chip or whatever. You know, he's, got, he's got some sort of. I got the chip. The fire stick was big back in the I day. I think it still pretty is, right? Which I don't I understand. I think you can what just get like is. a jailbroken full fire stick and just plug it into the side of your TV, and you have everything. They didn't think of that. It's like a hundred bucks. My buddy, not my buddy, this kid I know was selling them on Instagram. He would just post on his story like, "Yo," and he'd show them. He'd be like, "Yo, I got ten left. They're a hundred bucks. DM me," and then he'd be like, "They're all gone." And what do you get? Everything? Everything. Everything. What do you mean? Like no rent movies, no nothing. Netflix. Boom. I know. Really? Every streaming service, every channel, probably a lot of. Pay-per-view or what? You know what this I mean? This is that, an Amazon technology that has been jailbroke, co-opted by the pirates out there. Man, he had his hands in everything. I just thought it was selling online books. Well, it, it Bezos, it's not, it's not a Bezos production. People are taking it and then illegally cracking it to allow you to reprogram access. it. No, I understand that he's not doing it, but it is an Amazon product. Oh, they're still making a little money on there. But it's, it's an Amazon Fire Stick. Correct. No kidding. Man. Yeah, but I also think a lot of times I, I'm not not specific with this one, but they don't develop those things. There's other smaller companies that develop it, and they just go acquire that company, and now that's their Still, product. Dude, yeah, 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 dude's killing oh, it, buddy. I mean, from killing the it. from the BitTorrent days, I mean, you owe those restaurants. I owe Hollywood ninety five million dollars. Sure, sure, <laughs> never. I owe. I started buying pay per views recently, but for a long time, I'd hit up Pat. Yo, hit me with the link for whatever fight it is. You oh, know yeah. what I mean. And then just go from I there. I used to enjoy a nice bootleg on the street. Come by the restaurant. I always get a good one. My brother would get bootlegs and bring them home. And that was when, like, this back in the days before I was, this was before I was in the in the business. This is DVDs. I remember. I think we had old school, and like this is like you would get a good one where they print the label on Woo! it. It would have like the it have the cover, but it'd be printed off like your home printer. But it would be like old school or whatever. Yeah, if you saw Chinese writing on the uh, in the movie, you knew it was a good one. Sure. Yeah, that was also. Yeah, I think we might have mentioned this before. Of like, well, they, no, this one's hot wired into the like they're they're not capturing the video. They're on a camcorder. Yeah. yeah, they're pulling it from somewhere. They're getting some illegal download. But I've watched a few of those. You get used to it. Oh yeah, you, you yeah, I mean? for sure. So it's like a, it's like it's like a live performance. Cry, cry again. Yeah, <laughs> cry, cry again. <laughs> Uh, all right. We the, speaking of uh credit cards and you know whatever scammy things. Please, this, this is from Kippy Stolen Car. Shout out to the Kia boys. Is it garbage? I, I've never heard of this one, and I would T Bone. You might have to do some research if it actually works because it doesn't make sense that it would work. Is it garbage to buy things on your credit card equal to your minimum payment and then return them the next day because the return shows up as a credit or a payment on the card? See what I'm saying? So if you owed a hundred bucks, if that's true. That can't be true. I'm so mad at I, myself. I'm not even sure how to. Okay. Say, uh, I would just type in like minimum payment return credit card minimum payment buy item return. Well, it. first go to scumbag.com. <laughs> it's just a picture of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's crazy to me. If that actually, I don't works. think that works. It might buy you a couple days because in the system it. It doesn't show up as a payment. Credit card payment. refunds do, don't count as payments towards your monthly bill. Ah. But I'm saying it might buy you a couple days if it registers as like a, a $14 credit until it actually. It might buy you a couple days to get, get your head above water. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. I'd be curious to see if anybody else has heard of that and or has done that. That's, that sounds like, like that one move. of those things that would have worked like six years ago. Sure. And I feel like if that was something that you could do, my mom would have done it back in the day because she was a professional plate spinner. Oh, yeah. Like a pro. <laughs> oh, Patty out there at the halftime show? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> like a globetrotter. This going here, that going there. Didn't sign this. Date on this. Had her, had her big binder, a little like accordion file. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. My mom's was in a my mom's was in a bright blue with the red Reebok shoebox. That was yeah. that was the that was the set of keepers. That was Shh. that was the financial file. She would sit there on Sunday at the kitchen table just angry. 
I remember. I'm doing bells. Oh, doing, I'm doing my bounce in my checkbook. I'm like, so we'll stop because you ain't going to be happy when you're done, toots. You should see her checkbook. It's crazy. It, sure. it looks like Sanskrit. You wouldn't be able to tell what it is, but she got it down at a penny. Uh huh. She knows what's going on. I could see Patty rocking one of those big checkbooks <laughs> like they have at like, business. <laughs> the business ones. <laughs> yeah. The three one. There's like three on them. Yeah. And I used to have to do that for work. You yeah, feel dude. official. How much is it? Oh, I would just be writing go. checks all day. I did. That was my job. <laughs> Love that. Nice fountain pen. Um, I uh, I remember so many times, and I didn't realize it was, I mean, not a dirtbag move. She was, you know, eh, 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 the hold it till Friday. So many times she'd give, like, you know, if it was like a tutor or the lawn guy or fucking whatever, it, you know, just hold it till next Monday. I you ever write a post-dated check yourself? As an adult? No, we've got, I've said this a bunch. I just recently got a checkbook because somebody doesn't take checks that I have to, or doesn't take like automatic payments, so I had to pay check. Yeah, uh, me. Uh, and Ship the check. I just cut one check a month to them, and uh, I don't even record it because it's my only check, and they're all in sequential order. So it's like, it's also you don't need to record it. And you can't balance. I would just, I would argue it's very hard to balance your checkbook anymore. All damn near impossible. Because things, have a, things are moving so fast. If you have a debit card connected to it, it's fucking. That's why I love Navy Federal. The second that you do it, it, it comes out of the available balance, so you know what's up. Yeah, that's most debit. I mean, think all debit cards. Love that. that. Yeah, it's a debit card. Talk about the real feel. You know yeah. what's going on. I wrote one post dated check, personal check to another person. <laughs> Partied all weekend, and all of a sudden he's like, hey, by the way, he hit me with that on Monday. He said it was cool. I thought we were friends. 75 bucks. So you got to hold it till Friday. Dick. Did he? Yeah. Could have jammed you up, cost you another 35 or something. Would have been financially ruined. <laughs> Kidding me? That would have never recovered. It's on the back of a pizza box. Hey, what's your name again? What's your last name? <laughs> hey, great meeting you, dickhead. <laughs> it's pepperoni stains on it and shit. <laughs> I did a deposit a roommate's check. He's, he gave me the cash to pay the rent. I got to the bank and I'm standing in line and I look, open the check up and I look down at the memo and it just says for anal. And I was like, ha, touche. <laughs> <laughs> got him. If I was a bank teller, don't take this the wrong way. I probably wouldn't. I'd be triple checking your ID and stuff like that if you rolled in. Check all you want. Cash is green, <laughs> fatty. <laughs> This your boys out outside looking in the window, peeking skateboards on the on, on the on the plate glass window. I'd be looking at you hard. Oh yeah. Remember remember the old you had to know somebody to cash it at the thing? I would throw a fit. If no. it, if if I got a check from work, because I didn't have a bank account for a long time. If I had a check from my work, I'd look see what bank it was, go to that bank oh, yeah. and check it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes they try to play hardball. Well, you don't have an account and we don't know you and stuff like that. Like, honey, listen. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. business here. No, I've had all the. I've obviously. I mean, all those as a struggling comedian with the dog in New York City, you figure out. You, I mean, yeah, anybody struggling, you figure out where you can cut the corners and your lanes and you're the people. I remember I had a, a ch- cash Citibank checks, and I didn't have a Citibank. My last guy had my last boss had Citibank, and I would have to go. I'd have to go like fucking fifty blocks to the one that would allow you. What to they do didn't it. know if it was Friday night and you had been broke all week. You were going to figure it out. That check was getting cashed. Well, I used to write my own check. So, and some, obviously, most weeks I needed my check before Friday. And I would do it in my, under the guise of like, hey, I'm, I go in Monday, and I, would, I did this guy's bookie, but I'd go in Monday and I'd have to write the checks. Like, he'd be like, all right, these things need to get paid this week. So I would knock them all out on, say, Tuesday. And then Tuesday afternoon, I'm like, hey, I just did all my check. You're like, I just ran all the checks. It just works better if you just sign all the checks you need one time in the week. I don't yeah. want to be in your hair. You're saving him time. I don't want to be going back to you. Yeah. So come Tuesday afternoon at 2 p.m., I got to sign fucking check for the week. I only, I only work eight hours. Sure. You're, just, <laughs> you're answering questions you aren't being asked. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally not stealing from you either, sir. You're like a little sweaty there, huh, Scooter? <laughs> Had nothing to do that you hadn't eaten in three days. <sighs> Dude, I remember my first my first day at that place. I went to one of those like uh first thing you do is write you something. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I'm back. I'm owed back pay. What do you want from me? <laughs> uh a little sign in bonus for the kid, huh? I uh It's illegal it's illegal for you not to pay me for training. <laughs> uh, I had Oh dude, that's people pulling that move. 
Oh. Dude, that don't pay us for training. What do you think? I've taken jobs just for the paid training, dude. That that uh, telemarketer scam. I th- I needed the two fifty a week every fr- for two Fridays. Got my five undy. I was good for the month. You gotta learn how to drive this forklift, <laughs> yeah, <you're> fu- <laughs> I'm buddy. I'm drunk right now. <laughs> I'm out of here in four days, dude. <laughs> Don't even give me a name tag or nothing. I ain't sticking around. Save yourself Woo-wee. the time. But the first day, it was my first day. And I had to do, I think, like, I went to, like, a, one of the, you know how there's, like, a bunch of famous Rays, like, Rays Pizza, Rays Original, famous Rays. Sure. I went to them all. I went to one on, like, around 54th or something. To cash a check? No, no, no. To buy lunch my first day of this guy's job, and my card got declined after they had already given me the, <laughs> after they had already given <laughs> me the. hot slice right oh, there. Dude. They take it back? Had two hot sleazies. And a, and a, at that point, probably a straight bang and cold coke. They take it back on you? Yeah. Really? I got denied. We're going to need all that steam you inhaled, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me those smells back. <laughs> hey, no sniffing, fatty. You're just shaking Parmesan cheese into your hand. <laughs> Can I get a cup of ice, please? <laughs> I'm leaving with something. <laughs> you used to judge me pretty harshly. You never crossed over into this uh, into this realm. But I was a big check cashing guy. For a long time. Yeah, I didn't need to be because I had really put your nose up at me for that. (sighs) Yeah, you were. I mean, you did it. Wait, you did it. Yeah, you you ended up doing it too long. Middle of the night. And a lot of you were always you would call me like I was your banker and I knew banking rules and regulations. You'd be like, is it okay if my mom signed a check over to me? I'm signing it over to my brother that I'm going to send it over to Dylan and he's going to write my name on it that I'm going to take it to Raymond's check cashing. I was like, who's what? the guy at Famous Rage you talked <laughs> yeah, to? I was like, what, dude? What just fucking go cash the check at the place the bank was written? Mm-hmm. You're like, I can't. It was Bank of Omaha or whatever. Does anybody go in and open up a checking account anymore? Do you have to go into the bank still to do that? Yeah, I think so. You got to get a... Uh... No kidding. There's a lot of people that just do online check, like it it's just I feel a, like a rich guy. It's I, an I, online bank. I did that once, I think. It was T D Bank. And I mean, I felt like I was a millionaire. Like I was like I was purchasing diamond mines. You sit at that that customer service desk, not they standing nice, in line. They got like, a nice suit on. You feel I'm like I got my legs crossed. I'm looking at like I'm act like I'm closing buying Bitcoin, but I'm like on Instagram or whatever, you know. I'm like, what was that, sir? Yeah, let me know when I let me know what I need to sign, please. Yeah, they do it real busy. nice over there. Yeah, sit, sign a couple of documents. You're, you're the type of dude I could see your family having like like a fake notary stamp. Like someone in your family was a notary and they died, but you still got the stamp, so you're certifying your own fucking. <laughs> God, catch me if you can. Yeah. <laughs> we always had a notary. My stepmom was a notary for the longest time, so that was great. Your stepmom was a notary. Yeah, because she worked for. You have to the- go to school for that. No, uh, no, you take like a class and like you just have to. That's like being a judge or something. No, you're it's- official. You're, she you're sanctioned gun? by the state, yeah. She got a gun? No. Oh. What? I don't know. What do you think? She's not, I'm a U.S. Marshal. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's not bringing in collars, dude. She's she's, she's notarizing like permission waivers slips, for, yeah, for, and, and waivers for skate parks. Yeah, that always scared me. You got to get it notarized. I, it was great. I'd go down. Yo, her name Audrey. Yo, Aud, can you notarize this? What were you getting notarized? What were you doing? Just like whatever permission slips or fucking you know permission slips. You had to get notarized. I'm. I don't know what stuff I ever had to get notarized. I had an in-house notary. That she, uh, I don't know if it was legal. She know. would sign it and notarize it because she could sign it as my. She was my legal guardian. Maybe Kevin's cool, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> what was I getting notarized? Yeah, dude. What are you? There doing? was a handful of things I had to get notarized. Are you buying property? I wish. <laughs> no, I was probably fucking. I don't know what you get notarized. I. What did I ever have? It's to get? only. Maybe a lease? You get a lease notarized? You get it notarized? I don't know. The only thing I've ever gotten notarized was a waiver for an indoor skate park in North Carolina. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so it might have been skate parks. I probably had to get, like, your, that it was had to be notarized. Barbecue sauce. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I'd be very cool if we went back to where you put your, your seal on it. You know, the envelope with the wax and they put the thing. Somebody, didn't someone give us those? Nah. I don't know, did or they? Or somebody I know just got one. Or I think it's like a, I saw it, it was like an Instagram thing. Like, you can get them now. Like, they're pretty they're cool. They're like a kit you can get for like, you know, thirty nine ninety nine. dollars Your you, personal seal. Yeah, you stamp it. That's yeah. cool. That's real cool. It's like the Crusades and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Guarantee safe passage through Mesopotamia. <laughs> okay. Yikes.
<coughs> Rough country up there. Uh, in the world of in the world of finances, this is from Andreas. First Hit time, me. long time, boys. Is it garbage to be turned down for a Bucky's credit card? Asking for a friend, Ooh. Buddy, I love the fact that you rolled the dice. Bucky's is a fantastic financial institution, and I think once you get your life straight, they will approve you. Keep fucking trying. Yeah. <coughs> Bucky's but card. that they uh, can you pull up the uh, let's see the perks of a Bucky's card. All the deer nuggets you want, all the deer corn for free. <laughs> you get the wettest brisket we have in the uh, county. You get first cut of brisket. I'm a card holder, please. That's worth it right there. Uh, Here's your free kolache. I think if you if you hang if you if you're in a place. Oh, I did see they just put a Bucky's fucking. No uh, way. No, a Bucky's uh, billboard on the New Jersey Turnpike says Bucky's 582 miles oh, away. Oh, wow. Which makes me think they're doing some market research and expanding. Wawa's doing the same thing. Wawa's everywhere now. Bucky's is probably going out. Whoa. That's interesting. Yeah, shout out to a good buck. Wawa could step it up like Bucky's. They could get. Uh, they could have a little country store. They could do some merch. Some sure. more merch. They could have a little wing. You're not wrong. Yeah. I'm right. Yeah, buddy, I'm with you. The Bucky's, man, they have, they expand. They have they, straight things that aren't even like Bucky's branded. They're just like selling clothes in there. Yeah. That are pretty nice. It's gonna, I mean, it's going to be the size of a fucking Kmart soon. Yeah. Which I respect. That's yeah, all right. The Bucky's credit card's decent, boys. Yeah. I'm Sa- sure it is. Save 5% five per- five at the pump or in the store. Damn. Save 5%. 5%. Really? That's great. Yeah. What's the interest rate? Oh, 87 sure it's through the roof. Uh, 8% to 18%. That's not that bad. But that's just if you don't pay it off at the end of the month. Yeah. And minimum. 18%, I think some go up to like 20, like eight, like, you know, you see like MasterCard or whatever. It's like up to 26.7 APR or whatever. That one loan I took was like 20% or something. Yeah, I mean, you are a bozo. <laughs> it's a MasterCard. It's a good deal to mine. Okay. Back by MasterCard. And uh, you know it's for dirt bags because <laughs> in the second thing it talks about is minimum payments. Minimum payments as low as 2% of your balance. Parentheses. Minimum $18. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if, you, if your credit card bill is 18 bucks, <laughs> That's a bunch of Mountain Dews right there. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a code red. Woo-wee. Damn. Okay. That's all right. Might look into that. I respect that. I mean, if we were about to head down that way too, yeah, on the shorter roof tour, let's go. If there was more Bucky's up here, I, I mean, does I don't think a uh, nobody else really up here has one. What do you mean? Like, I don't think you can get like. I guess Sunoco. Sunoco has credit card. My mom has a Sunoco credit card. Yeah, what were gas cards? I remember a couple of rich kids I knew. Their parents gave them gas cards. I think they were credit cards. Just yeah, I also my dad's company. My dad had them for the. But you could get the, snacks in the store with it. I remember. I think in anything college, at anything at the up. store. Yeah, it was only it was like a Sunoco credit card just for. Yeah. It was like a corporate fleet of like, hey, we have thirty drivers out there or whatever. Like all the gas goes through, and they would entice you to be like Sunoco's. Like get our gas cards. We'll give you. Five percent back. So mm-hmm. you know what I mean. If you if you got that many truck, you got that big of a fleet. It's making sense. I like that. Yeah, they're all a bunch of a bunch of them do them. Shell, Sunoco, Sitco, Chevron, yeah. Exxon. But it's all. What are we doing? You're leaving money on a table over here. But it's all what you're saying. It's credit cards only for that store. It's like you're opening up a tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bucky's isn't though. I could use the Bucky's card anywhere. Right? Oh, oh, Bucky's Bucky, good. obvious. The Mastercard, one. basically. It's the master of the cards. It's like having a Delta. Amex. You think it, I wonder if they have a point system? Because if you use Bucky's card somewhere else, not in the Bucky's, what incentive do you get to have the Bucky's card? You just get regular master. For every ten thousand dollars you get, that's one free bag of Beaver Nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about the little popcorn things? Indeed, I am. Oh, they're like corn pops. I love those things. <laughs> I love them. I can't get enough of them. I do. I love boy. my dick <laughs> right now. I love them. Turn into a fucking hillbilly real quick. I, I gotta tell you, I love my corn nuggets. I always wondered what they would taste like in a bowl of milk. They're like popcorn, but like they're, it's almost like it's the whole kernel or I don't know what the term would be. I've what se- the scientific word is. I've seen it done. You've seen it done in milk. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's not like that's not that crazy. Bucky sells both of them. I'm sure someone's <laughs> done it before. You know what I mean? Shout out Clint Walker, friend of the show. Uh, really? He's done it? Oh, yeah. Really? Indeed. I respect that. Mm, gentlemen. I have, to, I have to meet this young man someday. I like it. I got to be honest with you. I like the cut of his jib. My cereal days are very few and far between anymore. Once a year, I'll, I'll like I'll be home at my mom's and I'll, it's whatever, and I and I'll, I'll get after it. But it's like 
It's funny you bring this. I up. can't do it. I love. I love it more than anything. It's probably the one meal other than pizza I've eaten the most is bowls of cereal. I just. I mulch the box too quick. I feel like shit afterwards. I I I just can't. I can't live a life where I'm doing. I'm crushing bowls of cereal no more. It's funny you mentioned that. If it was a little more healthy, I'd be all over it. I uh, I can't tell a lie. Um, yes, you can. Have sure. you seen the program? Sure. That was a lie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are not the father. <laughs> you are a liar. Uh, I have been dipping my toe oh, into gonna, the cereal game. You're going to blow back Under up. control, a bowl they're gonna at cut, night. They're going to cut that Dude, toe off. Dude, you shouldn't off. be doing a bowl of cereal at night. I, listen, I that, know. Morning time. If you want to do it, do it in the morning. You'll work that off. Nah, I like a nice bowl of cereal around 10 o'clock oh, before I go to bed. Man. Not that Dude, much. Ten, not that crazy. Here we go. No. You, the goalposts keep... Shut up. Let, I'm admitting honest. it. I'm telling you. you I, okay, hold on. You've never fully told the truth, and everybody listening knows that. I killed that guy, but he had it coming. Yeah. <laughs> you should have heard what he said about my wife. He did. <laughs> Would give my corn pops. Because if it was that little of a bowl, you wouldn't do it. You'd go like, I don't need it. You know what I mean? It's a bowl of cereal. Oh, at it's least, a bowl. At least. No, no, I'm saying it's a bowl. It's a bowl. Yeah, like, so an old say- man, like an old man having ice cream at night. Why do you keep moving it? You're eating, you're eating a bowl of cereal. You're a bowl of cereal. Right before you go to bed. Stop yeah. saying a little. Or it's Not just every like this. night. Maybe once a week, twice a week. I'm telling you. Okay. Scout's honor. Get me, <laughs> a, Bucky's, all, <laughs> get me a Bucky's credit card. I'll swear on it right now. You got to get it notarized. Call Audrey. <laughs> it's, um, it's a nice, sweet treat. I, I that's I love it. I just uh, I can't be in control of it because I fucking mulch it. I you know I do the the shame and like the bloatedness of crushing a box of special K. It's or, pretty easy. Oh, uh, the easiest. Yeah, it's pretty. Easy. I don't start enjoying it until the top of my roof starts. The top of the roof of my mouth starts getting cut up, and I go, "Now we're in it." Ah, and I double back because you need the cold milk to soothe it. I love, I, mean? I love drinking the milk when there's a little bit of cereal in there and washing it down. <sighs> yeah, yeah, this is how great. it started. So back at Christmas, I don't know why, but somebody at at the bird's office brought in boxes of Rice Krispie treats with uh, green ones and uh, red ones. I think so they could make Rice Krispie treats for the holidays. And that somehow ended up in the house. It was just there one day. Like the monolith just showed up. That got the head turning. And then next thing you know, a few days later, I'm putting an order to the deli. The deli guy shows up with a thing of corn pops. Uh, and then they're mixing and matching that combo. Classic relapse story. Yeah. Oh. You're gonna be breaking into dude. a you're gonna be breaking into a shop right after hours. <laughs> Fucking get, end up getting you're gonna shoot the clerk and get arrested. Simplicity, my friends. A little bowl of cereal. Blow, blowing dudes for bags <laughs> off brand cereal. <laughs> no box, straight bag. Nice bowl of cereal. I, yeah, I my, those days are behind me. I'm trying to be more on. I'm, I'm, I'm confessing this to you. I know, but like, listen, you gotta, you like, you you gotta respect me that we don't believe you anymore. You have to respect that. What if Tony the Tiger walked in right? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I got you. Psst, psst. Uh, I don't know this guy. <laughs> He's on a forklift. He's got a pallet. He's all strung out too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, just give me a little bit. <laughs> You have to respect the gentleman, the code of criminals that I shouldn't believe you, right? I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Okay. Because well then, I just wouldn't have said anything. Why, 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 why would I wrap myself up? Again, out? honor amongst thieves. You should go, okay, I, yeah, we're both criminals, and I don't believe what you. What do you think I'm not saying here? I, I'm Probably saying- the frequency, and you're going to go, I'm telling you the truth. And I go, okay, that's fine. I'm just going, probably the frequency and the amount. Well, I would say, I can say I would say you're moving the goalpost on. That's all I'm saying. And I would also argue that even if it is a bowl of cereal, highly dubious, <laughs> it's a deep bowl. Fraud, yeah, it's a salad bowl. Probably <laughs> that, that there's some other accoutrement floating around in that. Maybe you're, a little tablespoon of shuggies. <laughs> <laughs> some nanners. You got a couple nanners in there, fatty. I like a nanner in my cereal. I'll tell you that. Instead of milk, it's ice cream. <laughs> uh, um, all I can say. I hope this shows a little growth. I completely understand where you guys are coming from. And yes, I've made my bed. I slept in it. And, you know, you guys have every right not to believe me. Yeah, that's fine. 
don't know why you're making this political statement like you're going to make me feel bad. I don't believe you now, about it. Let's get anything. some Honey Nut Cheerios <laughs> and celebrate. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Love them Honey Nut Cheerios. You know what always bothered me? When you go out to breakfast and someone gets a bowl of cereal, out to breakfast, at like a diner or something. Like a little box. Even as a kid. Kick rocks. What the fuck are you? First of all, you never get the right ratio. You're making it at the table like a fucking jerk off. Yeah. It's what do you get? Uh, that cereal's at home. You have you have the best version of cereal at home. You don't have the best version. You, you don't have the best version of pancakes at home. You have the best version of pancakes at a diner. I would disagree with that, but. Uh, case in point, whatever. Like, sure. if you like your mom's pancakes, for sure, they whatever. Do. 99% of the time, pancakes out are going to be way better than you make them at home. And I agree with you. And easier. There's no mess. There's no cleanup. You sit down. You get the eggies. You get that. However, back in the day when you walked into a diner or a luncheonette and you would see behind the counter, up top, they were sitting on, like, the soda machine or something yeah, a lot of time. Yeah, it's, they caught your eye. It looks good, but it's not that they come in those wax bags. You're like, get the, give me, like, the fucking, give, why don't you just buy a big box of cereal and make me a bowl of cereal in a bag? Wasn't your generation, um, weren't you guys, those little mini boxes of cereal, the variety pack, didn't they step that up a notch when you guys were kids where you could pour the milk right in there and eat it out of it? I was just about to ask Is that, that what the wax bag is for? No, no, that was back in the day. It, 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 they had it. It was like perforated so you could open it up and then you could crack the bag and then you just had a sack of milk and cereal. Oh, like I don't like that. Canadian hobo. Yeah, yeah. no, not my cup of tea. Mm. Huh. You dorks were doing the we, we, I think we mentioned this. No, why are you? Dude, that was like my young. That was like fucking 15. What am I going to say? The straw. Yeah, pretty good. You bring this up like monthly like it was me and my boys that made it. You son of a bitch. First of all, that came out when I was like 15 it or whatever. It defeats the purpose. The the I get I get hey John old man people do, people change all right get with the times this is how they're doing their milk I like nowadays. a nice bowl of total <laughs> yeah get out of here <laughs> pop up Jones I do like a total I get targeted ads for those like uh, it's like the combo for cereal where it's a it's like a to go cup almost like a Stanley mug where or a or a Yeti where it has a oh, cereal yeah. up top and then the milk in a separate container so it's so and then you you sip it and it drops some cereal in your mouth and a little bit of milk and that makes me want to blow up the car of anyone who's using oh, that's that. how that works that's what that is yes Whoa. I don't know I gotta get some eyes on that no. that might be that might be my to go cereal. <laughs> I might be back in the game, gang. Bring that to the gym. I, I didn't know I could have Cocoa Puffs on the move. <laughs> You're on the elliptical sucking down Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Do you like Just a, when I think I'm out, they pull me back Do in. Do you like a Fruity Pebble? No, I was never a Fruity guy. Choco. Choco? Pebbles, Choco. Uh, Cocoa Puffs at my dad's. Cocoa Pebbles at my mom's. That was it. Uh, Reese's Puffs at my mom's. Apple, or Apple Jack. That was a shred of weed at my gumans. My dad got real. My stepmom really introduced us to some cereals that we weren't really bang. That the, the, the Denise wasn't banging with. Sure. Denise was always had Frosted Flakes, Cocoa Pebbles, Special K, Cheerios, probably in the, uh, three of those four things at all times. But I got these things now. I got the. Uh, I got these things. Um, chocolate Frosted Flakes. I don't think I'd like that. Oh, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Did, not Talk my cup of tea. risking just, it all. Just visually, I don't like that. Oh, they're so Stay in good. your lane. Stay in your lane. Did either of your houses have the, the big Tupperware container of where they would put the cereal? I in? didn't like that. I felt what, like, we got a sitcom? Yeah, I felt, like, I felt like the people like put their hands in it as they dumped it. Uh, I yeah. want my stuff coming right out of the right out of the factory box. That's the people that put the orange juice in like the container, like would pour it in like a glass can. That was family ties. Yeah, that's that's commercial shit, yeah. I feel. My aunt yeah. and uncle used to do that shit. Oh, they got bodies on them. Yeah, or mice. Because they <laughs> they will get through a special K box. <laughs> Denise is in the weeds yeah, with that's them right mice. now. That's prepper shit. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh. They got some some cackalackas yeah. running through there. <laughs> can of mini wheats? Get out of here. <laughs> got coyotes in the living oh, room, dude. <laughs> what do you have squirrels in here, lady? Just sitting there eating in the dark and stuff. Uh, God, but we got to wrap it up, gang. Gang, I'm going to tell you this right now. We tell you all the time. We love you. Love you. Come out and see a live show. Are you garbage? Dot crime. <laughs> dot crime. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate. I've only had one bowl of cereal. <laughs> I, got, I got corn pops on their brain. Are you garbage.com? Grab some tickets. We got the first leg of the tour up. Mm -hmm. Come out and see us. We love you to death, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.